Hmm. Probably should have done that first and then done this. Well, looks like it. Whoops. Well, it does look like it's working. Did I stutter there? Can't tell. Happy Friday. Running late. As I often do, Fridays were made for procrastinating. Starting with procrastinating getting here and then just kind of being on the same level of lateness throughout the whole day. But also because we had uh, drinks and snacks to not celebrate, but in commemoration of a lot of people not having worked here after today. Will not have worked here? I don't know. People who were let go, and today was our last day. So we had some beers and some drinks and some salty snacks. And that pushed everything back another couple hours. So all of a sudden it's 7.43 p.m. and 54 degrees. And i got to get out of here. But I haven't talked to you yet. And I have so much to talk to you about because yesterday, Fan Appreciation Day, we all got free posters. And Kim and I had courtside seats thanks to winning the Kiss Cam competition. Again, we may have been the only people to enter. But we are winners nonetheless. We had awesome seats. We sat right next to the hoop uh, along the baseline of the side of the court where the Timberwolves bench was. And if you were watching on TV, you wouldn't have seen this because there would have been the big backboard stanchion thing in front of us and we were kind of nestled in behind that but we had a great view it was only obstructed if somebody was really along the baseline in the corner of the court and in that case you look up at the jumbotron but that didn't happen too often and let's face it, it there wasn't a lot of whole scoring going on it was kind of an awful game for the timberwolves they ended up losing by 30 something and they were down by a lot the whole time but it was still very special for us because it was Brad Miller's final game in the NBA. And he had a very emotional moment when he came out for the last time. I should say his, he, his last shot was a three, and it was good. Gave us one more chance to see his little video on the Jumbotron. And when he came out, he was very emotional. And it's the kind of thing where you're like, wow, we should take pictures of this. Nah, let's just enjoy the moment for what it is. So we all got to take part in that moment. and. Uh, all the teammates hugged him. It was really cool to be there that close and to see that. And, of course, we gave him a standing ovation. Now, the only thing that would have made it cooler is if Brad had thrown his headband to Kim, but he was not thinking about that at the time, I'm sure. So we, we can give him a pass on that. We took some pictures from courtside, both uh, Kim and myself. If you follow either of us on Instagram, that's where most of them ended up. Uh, in fact, all of them, I think. I still have to put some up on Facebook, probably. I want to put a thank you post up to the sponsors of the contest, even though I think they're trying to jerk me around now. And for the Timberwolves, of course. I got my email. It's like, congratulations for winning. We, were, we need your address to send you that $100 gift card. And I'm like, eh, it's been a $500 gift card up until you sent me that email. Is there something you're not telling me? So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. It's not like we're going to go to a jewelry store and buy stuff anyway, so does it really matter? We would be more likely to go if it was $500 instead of $100, yes. In fact, I'm looking to see if he wrote me back. Of course, he did not. I have a feeling he will not be writing me back. Well, let's just have to see how that goes. Start my one-man crusade against this company that made these awesome seats possible. Nah, I don't know. Modesto in the house. Got my Nuts shirt on. Nuts! They're still the Nuts, right? The shirt's pretty old, but I believe they are. I don't know what possessed me to wear this today. I think if I had remembered that we would have been having drinks and snacks, I would have worn something more formal, but as it was, there were two people wearing shorts there, and the other guy was one of the guys being let go, so too many pants in this place, man. It was cooler today, but still, it's shorts weather. It's not pants weather. Now, having said all that, what have you said? I believe there are some comments I have to get to, and or comments I'm going to ignore. The one I know about for sure. Oh, look, Flea wrote me something. 
No. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Well, I took a wide shot for the banner, and I think Flea is confused by my perspective, but we'll ignore that. The question, the other question I'm going to ignore is the one for Mr. Baffo, who wanted to ask me something about the football draft. And between all this Timberwolves, Falderall, and Fufara, and Hullabaloo, and the hockey playoffs, I haven't even gotten to the NFL draft. And I tend to not care because I don't follow college football and don't know who any of these yahoos are anyway beyond maybe the first pick. Uh, of course, I was amused when the Vikings traded down because that's a very Timberwolves-esque thing to do. And I, I expect a better out of the Vikings, but really I didn't. It's just one of those things you point and laugh, you know. Oh, yes, the Vikings, of course. Excuse me. Do I have any water left? No. Pretend. Um, what was I going to say? So, I don't know who the Packers drafted. I had no expectations for the Packers drafting, so I don't really care. I'm sure it was fine. Nobody has written anything on the board saying how awful it was, so I have to assume they're in the same boat I am. They don't know, and it's they know that it's not awful, whatever it was. So, no big deal. Draft's still going right now. In fact, the thing I'm really missing... Not the NFL draft, not the hockey playoffs, but the nationwide race that's going on right now at Richmond, under the lights. I'll probably have to catch the late night replay, because I forgot to do DVR it as well. Really, those races are kind of boring, but it's something to have on the TV while you work, and I'd probably it's a good thing to work on a DVD post, too. Uh, let's see if there's anything else from the W I have to talk about. Nope. All right, let's go to Facebook. I don't have any of these things open, you can tell. There are more comments about the Target Center stuff that I left. I think, no, I think I covered that yesterday. Sorry. All right, we'll go to YouTube because I did get a comment there, but it wasn't for yesterday's video, it was for an older one. But it was kind of random and also kind of interesting and I doubt that that person is going to see my response but we'll see I should probably log in clearly I planned this ahead of time YouTube inbox comments we have two comments I got one from Otto he has Listed the Steel Domain Wrestling card taking place tomorrow night. He is also not going now. Something came up. Adam Pierce versus Ben Saylor. Interesting. Adam Pierce, is he currently NWA champ? No, I think Cole Cabana is, right? Okay. Ben Saylor's an AWF guy, longtime AWF guy. Arya Davari versus Ryan Cruz, those are both AWF guys. Heather Hallberg versus Miss Natural. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a woman wrestle in AWF. Robbie Thunder versus Randy Dean, never heard of either of them. Craven Knight versus 6% Body Fat Rob James, both AWF guys. Sammy the Bulldog Savard versus Red Lightning, Savard is an AWF guy. Plus appearances by Larry Zabisco, ooh, Greg, Greg Gagne, ooh, Jim Brazel, ooh, and Christy Hemi, why? I wonder how much that is. I might pay and go see that card. I'm lying, I'm going to stay home and watch the NASCAR race, but yeah. Wow, but with two-thirds of those people also being AWF people, that's kind of, well, shouldn't be a surprise, I suppose. I guess it's just good knowing SDW is still out there. How do you find that information? Is there, does someone email it to you? Is there a website? We'll talk later, Otto. Thanks for the comment, though. Comment from two days ago from Betacat, a YouTube user. I found you by accident. I was trying to visit a gossip site and type CRZ in the address bar, and there you were. How do you get to gossip from CRZ? Stalking yourself so I don't have to. Follow links to this video. Serendipity? Don't know. But hi! Hello! Maybe I'll follow you now since you've made it so easy. LOL. Hi from Winnipeg, Canada. That's not me in the pic. That's my son. I'm much cuter. LOL. I doubt that it would be impossible to be cuter than your son. But uh, you can always send a picture. I won't share it with the world. 
but ask others who know me about my feelings about Canadians, especially those from Winnipeg. Oh, my 10 minutes is up. Well, we made it through another week. I like this comment, though, because it's about serendipity, and really, there's a lot of serendipity that was at work yesterday leading up to us winning this contest. If I hadn't have bought Kim that funny-looking wolf head, and if we hadn't have been early to that one particular game where they were doing the kiss cam before the game and there were so few people that they couldn't find couples to lock onto, if we hadn't already figured out a routine where I would kiss her hat first, if, 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 if I hadn't worked the system, if I hadn't have been probably the only person to really register to my video at the contest and get other people to like it on Facebook, if we hadn't had those seats for Brad Monroe's final game, it's just funny how things work out. But it's like that all the time. The trick is to notice the patterns and to try to make the patterns work for you. Now, having said that, everything's predestined and there's nothing you can do to change it. So <laughs> stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Thank you for sticking with me for another week. We'll do it again next week, God willing. I am CRZ. CRZ.net is your ticket to the world of CRZ. And who wouldn't want to be in that world? I love you. I will see you later. From the Lexus Courtside Club, and I probably should take this bracelet off, but I wanted to show it to you. I am CRZ. Thank you. Good night.